So like when, when I was in high school, there was a young man, they called him booty head. He had an indention in the center of his forehead. They used to pick on him sexually. They say, boy, I want some of that booty. And so they grab this young man's head and they start doing pelvic thrusts right on this man's head. Like, I'm like, like hunching this man's head. It was absolutely positively nasty. The greatest American alive. I would never understand why straight men play gay games. Me neither, man. Because, <laughs> because if you're not gay, then stop being like that. If you make a statement right now in America, somehow it's it's automatically that's hate. And I don't have any hate in my heart for anyone. But I do think that we should be able to have honest conversations about human behavior. I, like, I believe in humanity. And so many experiences that we share, uh, I share those exact same experiences, right? You don't have to hate people, but it's certain acts that you. it's like you got to... You're either on it or you're not. It's not the people that you want to hate. It's the acts that they hate. But, but, okay, you know? there are things that I dislike, right? But why would I hate someone else's actions? It's showing you that's them. If a person wanted to hate me about my actions or my thoughts, they could. But I think that, like, I believe in full autonomy. I have the right to live my life the way I want to live my life. I'm not a fan of chocolate-covered eggplants. <laughs> chocolate-covered chocolate eggplants. Egg yeah, Explain man. that because that's, that's a new one. Oh, the eggplant is the emoji that for uh, a tallywhacker. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A chocolate-covered tallywhacker. Right. He's he been, he been playing in the booty. <laughs> oh, no, man. No. That's a no-no. Um, if you have not shared in that experience, then you have no idea what I'm talking about, right? If you haven't played in the uh, the poo-poo land, <laughs> that sounds so disgusting. It is disgusting. What are you talking about? <laughs> I mean, listen to it. We want to normalize it, and I don't even understand because, like, I'm pro-human. Like, I believe in humanity. I like people. I think people should exist. Even myself, heterosexuals who are choosing not to have children, choosing not to procreate, that's an anti-human behavior. Like, don't you want more of us? You should to bring back <laughs> your nation of people. You should want more sons. You should want more men. There's a there's more women Family. on earth than men. You know what I mean? That, that's a wonderful thing. It is. It's, so it's that means thing. that's like be fruitful and multiply. Yeah, so like when, when I was in high school, there was a young man. They called him Booty Head. He had an indention in the center of his forehead. It looked like a booty. <laughs> and people laughed at him. They actually called him Booty Head. Like what would, that, what would that do to a person's psychology over time to be called Booty Head? Now, when I asked the question, I said, why do heterosexual, hyper heterosexual, hyper masculine men play gay games? I don't even know. Like. I've experienced it in sports. I've experienced it in the military. I've, I've experienced it in prison. Heterosexual men who are hyper masculine, they play gay games. And so in high school, right? Booty head. They used to pick on them sexually. They say, boy, I want some of that booty. And so they grab this young man's head and they start doing pelvic thrusts right on this man's head. Like, I'm like, like hunching this man's head. It was absolutely positively nasty. First of all, <laughs> um, if you grab my head and try to, you're gonna, you're gonna, it's gonna be a conflict, okay? So I don't know what was wrong with booty hair for just letting these dudes do that, okay? But no, hey, okay? fear, hey, fear's fear's a mother sucker, you know what I'm saying? Right. Hey, a hey, fear will have you freeze up, like, oh my god, I don't know what to do. These are jocks, okay? We were freshmen at the time. And so seniors, these are 21, 20 year old men, some of these people, right? It was an urban school. Some of these guys were 20 years old. <laughs> mm. And they're taking a 14 year old kid and, and thrusting their they, uh, genitals on this young man's head.